Boom! How's it going? I'm trusting that you're doing well and welcome to M5 Property Addicts. Today we are going to be talking about why property is best investment. Why is property best investment? Yes. Is it a best investment? Maybe for you it's not. For me it is worked wonders and today I'm going to be talking about mm -hmm, why property is the best investment. We have seen that um, many are millionaires, um, especially if you look at the Forbes. Um, the Forbes have also indicated that many are millionaires on the Forbes list have been created by property. So why is property a best investment? I'm going to dive into it today, but I want to give you a short story of my background. When I was employed, um, I knew that I wanted to buy properties, but I just didn't know how. <clears throat> so for that reason, I, I started looking and looking and looking and I decided, let me go into business so that I can create some money because I didn't know that you can actually buy properties with no money. Well, any of your own money uh, until I went to school and with that property school and um, I started actually realizing that, oh, you can buy more properties without your own money. And uh, I gravitated into that. But the reason why I actually went there is that when I was doing business, the first business that I went to was um, selling diapers. Yeah, so I was selling diapers. Um, so it was, I was trading, buy at a low, sell at a high, make some profit, bingo. That's how I was making money. I stopped that business because I was selling mainly in the townships. So at one point, I got one of my guys being followed at home uh, with some guys and they were following him for the money. So that business made some money, closed that business. But I went into cars at one point. So I had a car rental business at one point. This is long before Uber, um, any of these fancy things that we now have. Um, and basically what happened at that time was that I had more cars on the street. But when I started listening to properties, I realized that the business of cars is good, but I am losing money by the day. And today I want to share with you guys a story of why property is a good investment in parallel to this car rental business that I had. Does it make sense? And why I then pivoted from the car rental business, so I laid that down or I let it go, and then I continued with my property business up until now, but I'm still doing cars as well. Yeah, yeah, but I just do it differently, that's all. Now, let's jump into it. Okay, the, the first thing about property that anyone knows, and everyone will testify, is that property works for sure. Does it? I don't know. I've seen properties that doesn't work for other people. And I've seen it work for other people. So it's not really about property being for sure. It's about you. Yeah, you. That's what it's all about. Um, if you understand it, if you're willing to learn, yes, for sure, property can then work for you. So the first thing that I want us to talk about here is why would property be a, the best investment? It's because property itself appreciates. You ever heard this over and over again? In South Africa of late, um, at a national level, I want to stress this out. At a national level, you can Google it. They are saying that our appreciation value is sitting at a plus minus 4% year on year. 4%. However, you have seen, we have seen, right, in some areas where it is shot up to around about 12%, right? So which basically means that when we are saying the property is appreciating for South Africa at a national level, it doesn't mean that there are other areas that have shot up even 20% or even 50%. What you now need to look into is that this is at a national level. You now need to look at it at a provincial level. And now you now need to look at it into a town area. And now you now need to look at it into a suburb. So where are you buying? Because you don't buy at a national level, do you? No, you don't. You buy in a particular area, in a particular street. So in that area, what is the growth? It might not be 4%. Hey, it might be negative. Mm, yeah, 
You have seen that. Have you seen properties going down? The value of the property is going down. But in most cases, at a national level, properties have been going up at 4%. Is that good? Oh, yeah, of course it is good. It's, 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 a, it's appreciating, right? Which is good. The second one is that you obviously, we all want cash flow, right? So we do it for the, for the fact that property gives you cash flow. It gives you money on a regular basis, right? And there are so many strategies you can do it. In, in the traditional strategies, you get paid on a monthly basis. I've seen some of my uh, team members, uh, they do Airbnb. And uh, with Airbnb, you can get paid per day. I've seen in some Airbnb, you get paid per hour, even. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. But I'm not talking about Airbnb. I'm just talking short-term, short-term rentals, right? Uh, and with that, who doesn't want to be get, be getting paid regularly? So cash flow is the second thing why property is the best investment. The, the third one is that government can, gives you, can give you rebates, tax rebates. What do I mean by that? In some areas in the country, if you are to buy them, the government already says if you are to buy properties in these areas and you are going to utilize your construction or whatever it is, we are going to give you 50% tax rebate. So if you use 1 million to, um, to build this area, to make it whatever it's going to be, we are going to give you back 50%, 500,000. Mm. So obviously that means that they won't give you 500,000, 500,000, uh, but from a book perspective, they will. So um, you can check this out, by the way, right? Um, on the SARS website, they, they sections there where tax rebates, it's very clear. They, they announce it and they say this area, sometimes the mayor also does that. So the mayor will say, we'll do an announcement in the area and they'll talk about some of these tax rebates, right? So that's from a buying perspective. What about from a maintenance perspective? Also, the government gives you some rebates around that. Um, and um, I've done so many videos around this with guys that actually understand how taxes work. And uh, if you haven't checked them out, check within our text section. We've done many, many videos around this. It's the best way of partnering up with the government, giving you money in your back pocket. The other reason for me is that you can pass it on to the next generation. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is so cool, isn't it? That's power to the people. If you are clever, if you are, Clever, right? Clever being the smartest one in the room. You can even get other people to pay off for your debt. So you can go and buy properties using debt and then you can get other people to pay it off for you whilst you are providing accommodation to them. So it's kind of like those things. Scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yep. And with that, obviously, you can make some money along the way. One of the big things for me that I like here is that the social responsibility that comes with property is amazing. You're providing housing to people, right? Even though it's a business, yes, even though it is a best investment, but there's a social aspect to this. And if you're providing housing to other people that cannot afford, that's a good investment. For me, the other point is that property you can touch it you can feel it you can go and have a look and you're like yes this is my building take selfies and all of those things but provided obviously it's making money um and that's why i think it's the best investment the last one that i would then want to speak to here is nobody can steal property away from you yes in my previous videos i've spoken about properties being hijacked uh-huh but if you really work hard, you can secure it. That's the first point. Or you can also have the opportunity to make sure that the property itself, even though it has been hijacked, you can come back to the property and you can correct it. So you've been hijacked. You can work with specialists so that you can get control of your property again. So property. It's an asset. Investment gives you money. So 
my reasonings are these ones. But what other reasons can we say are good reasons for property being the best investment? I don't know. You tell me. In the comments, let me know what are some of those reasons that you would consider property to be an investment. Someone says to me the other day, TJ, I have utilized property as a retirement. Yes. So instead of contributing to retirement annuities and all of these things, I have literally taken that money and I've plowed it a little bit more into my properties and I now control my properties and the money is coming to me. And I said that was clever. It's power because nobody is controlling your money. You are controlling it yourself. So even if it doesn't work, it's upon you. It's not upon anyone else. But that's a conversation for another day. Should you be contribution to retirement funds and things like that? Or should you be buying property? Hmm. I think both. But I'll do some investigations and we'll do that video soon. It is I, TJ. We will check you out on the next video.